Hello, beautiful friend. It's me, Robin Hallett, intuitive healer and teacher over at RobinHallett.com. How are you today? I would like to talk to you about obstacles. How do we overcome the obstacles in our lives? So um, in the last few weeks, I've talked to a lot of different people, and I've been blogging about this on my blog as well, RobinHallett.com. And I've got friends going through divorce. I've got friends um, with bankruptcy issues. I met somebody who is studying for the MCATs and um, getting very nervous about passing and becoming a doctor. I have another friend who uh, just finally finished taking the bar um, in another state. This is, I believe, her third state now that she's um, taking the bar in. Um, I have a friend who had a crazy ice dam basically crash her roof in and then needed to um, have most of her front of her house ripped off because they found termites and it's the middle of winter and she has little kids and the kids had some health stuff going on and then a family member had some health stuff going on and all of this happening while she's living in a hotel, you know. I have another friend who's um, leaving his business, a long time safe bet business, new baby, you know, big family, new baby, and there's a lot of panic and worry and fear um, about going out solo as an entrepreneur and a speaker. And, um, you know, so many of us, and in my own life, you know, I always have little things that come up around. Um, just gosh, I, you know, making these videos and writing my blog, that always seems to be my obstacle. I know people tell me I'm good at it and I connect on video and all of that, but you know, I still, this is my obstacle. I get nervous, I worry. Um, so that's kind of what I want to talk about today. So I've given you an example of what some obstacles are. It's just things that present themselves in our lives and they really like make us so nervous and upset or really capture a lot of our focus and attention. And they're fear-based usually. The energy has fear to it. False evidence appearing real. Fear. Um, or as I like to say, fork everything and run fear. <laughs> so how do you overcome an obstacle? Well, a lot of people would like to treat an obstacle like jumping over a hurdle or kicking the hurdle down. I don't know if you had to run uh, track in gym. In high school, I had to take track and I hate exercising, honestly. It, that has not changed for me. But there was something about hurdles that I extra, extra did not enjoy doing. And I would run at this hurdle, you know, and be so determined and I would just want to hop over that thing and I always was one who tripped on it I fell I would go I you know I would get really close to the hurdle I would freak out and run around it I don't know I just hurdles obstacles not my favorite thing so um, you know some people think you can just blow them off and pretend they're not happening you know pretend the upset and the the thing that's presenting itself to you is not happening but I'll tell you what that is a complete waste of time failure method you will never get what you need to get out of the obstacle if you pretend it's not happening it's only going to get worse, louder, scarier. It's going to start to wake you up in the middle of the night, you know, because an obstacle to me is not just life's little way of pissing you off, you know, or trying to screw with you. Um, an obstacle is something for your healing. You know, um, I talk a lot about dragons on the journey, dragons on the path that present themselves to you. and. It's up to us to stop and say, what are you trying to reveal to me here? You know, what is it? So for a lot of us, um, you know, an obstacle is just something that happens and we want to just give up and start crying, you know, or 
we take it as a sign that life is just too hard or maybe you know the thing we really think we want is not meant to be I know a lot of people who come to me for healing and actually think that you know like there are guides and angels subtly giving them little woo-woo hints that they should give up on their dream because something happened you know something came up and I say that's complete nonsense absolutely not you know what it's more about it's like the minute you say I want to do this thing in the world I have a dream for myself I have a vision um, something I want to do I see it like an obstacle is kind of like anything that is in your way anything that's standing between you and your dream that you know like your rough edges need to be cleared cleansed smoothed out treated and healed so that you can go forward with more gusto and more of yourself than before so I look at an obstacle like my self-confidence I was talking to you a little while ago that I still get nervous making videos I still get nervous um, before I press publish on my blog post and um, you know my, I just call that self-confidence this is something that I have been working on um, whether you're just meeting me today or you've been with me for several years um, this is something I've really been working on and um, what I know to be true is that I really have a longing to speak out in the world and share this message of healing and love and inspire you to be your best self and kick ass in your life on the things that you really want you know I feel so fired up about helping you get to where you want to be and not you know it's like I mean so many people who are trying to um, tame their dreams down because it's they think it's completely out of reach and what I want to do is help you really get focused and clear so I know this is my mission I'm very very clear about that and of course I have some self-confidence issues of course I worry about how I sound or what I look like or uh, you know if you could be in my head for five minutes I I I um, of course but I also know that I'm being asked to clear those things to get centered and very focused on what it is that I really want and to learn how to deal with that energy that comes up and to find ways like my non-negotiable practices every day um, to find ways like meditating and exercising and eating well and um, you know the kind of people I allow around me the kind of energies I allow around me all of these things are connected to a stronger energetic confidence that I am learning to build so when I look at my obstacle of self-confidence I don't I I used to see it like you know I guess I'll never get to be where it is that I want to be because it's hopeless and what would happen to me is a huge nervous system response of um, give up and die lady just give up and die go lay on the couch and watch TV and eat your bonbons and I have a sugar thing um, eat your bonbons and just forget about it and you know if you lay on the couch and you eat your bonbons guess what happens you get tired and then you feel like a loser if you're me you feel like a loser and then you say it's all hopeless and you know the cycle goes like that so that's my that's an obstacle that happens for me now I have a friend I was telling you about who's um, leaving his big-time job and he's going out into the world and he has little kids and a wife and um, he's gonna try his hand at uh, running seminars and being a speaker and he is freaked out it's almost a little bit funny I'm teasing him because I know he'll be watching this but um a little bit freaked out and I would say you know this is the obstacle and how is your resolve how firm are you feeling and you're knowing that you are capable and able and you have a mission you know how clear are you feeling and are you staying in alignment with what it is that you know to be true for yourself and what it is that you're here to do in life 
you need to stay laser focused and centered and grounded and do the things that you need to do to stay in alignment with your mission because the obstacle is presenting itself to make sure to help you stay focused and composed and you know think of it like how bad do you want this you need to be the energy that you say you want so if you want success and um the good life you know whatever that is to you look your energy needs to radiate that now your energy needs to welcome that in now so an obstacle can be like a little god that we place on an altar and worship at you know i'm um, thinking about a client i have who's going through a divorce and a lot of divorces are nasty this one seems particularly bad and um you know there's some custody stuff there's some court appointed people that are getting involved and every time i talk to this friend i can really see how um he puts the god on on the altar to worship of upset and um you know this this thing is going to destroy me um, i'm going to lose all my money i'm not ever going to have the custody i want um you know, I'm going to have to pay and pay and pay. It's never going to be over. You know, the lawyers are trying to screw me, right? So these are all of the obstacles. These are all of the upsets. And he's standing at a really powerful crossroads. In one direction is like the upset villa, crap and upset and, you know, familiar territory which already we know no matter what the topic is, it has never brought you a good day, has never brought you inspiration, has never brought you clarity, has never created a safety or love in your heart, nothing, right? Down that path is kind of like horror and more horror and upset and, um, you know, and I'll say about that path too, it's like you, then you need to do things to stay in alignment with that energy. So outrage, upset, terror, rage, um, despair, fear, anxiety. What is supporting that energy? You know, crappy diet, crappy sleep, um, no self-care practices, angry conversations. You, you, there's just no way that anything can move in related to ease, peace, success, clarity, joy, um, abundance when you're down that path. So to recognize my biggest tip, the biggest answer anybody ever needs is this. Know that it's an obstacle. Know it's an obstacle and not the final result. Know that it's not the final uh, destination. This thing that's happening, you know, it's not the end. And at some point you must awaken to this. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm completely upset. I'm completely unnerved. I'm completely rattled. For the last hour, I've been telling myself a story about how crappy it all is and how screwed I am and how bad it's going to be and how it's never going to get better. Uh oh, I realize that now. I just caught it. I just woke up to that. That is an obstacle. Now I'm going to get back into alignment with what I know to be true. And that is, you know, and you and you can speak to yourself. I'll just say for me, you know, life is good. I'm grateful. I have a mission. I believe in what I'm here to do. I know with certainty that I'm loved and I am love. You know, I'm a spark of the divine, a child of God. I speak to myself that way. Um, you know, you have to help yourself. So again, the number one thing is recognize this is an obstacle and recognize that you are listening to the obstacle and obeying the obstacle as if it is a God in your life. You've placed it on an altar and now you are worshiping at it. So, you know, if work is slow and you're worried about your monthly nut this month, you're worried about money, look, you cannot attract more money when you're just worrying about money, when you're sitting at the altar of worry and you're bowing to worry and you're saying, 
please worry. I love you, worry. It's like doing that, you know, please give me more lack and more fear and more terror. So the big thing is remembering that an obstacle presents itself for you to heal and clear something. It's an opportunity for you to bring yourself into alignment with what it is that you know to be true, what it is that you are lit up about doing in the world, and staying on track. It's a chance to say to yourself, hey, don't make this a tiny God. Don't sit down and worship the hurdle, you know. <laughs> Think about where it is that you really want to go. And sometimes it's extremely helpful for me to say, hey, Robin, the obstacle is not more important than the goal. Remember, the goal is the goal, not the obstacle, you know. It's like people can stay so focused on their upset. It's amazing to me. And I, it happens to me too. And all I can say is, you know, I'm thankful that even if two hours have gone by and I've been really struggling, that I remember and I woke up. And you can wake up. It's how we wake up from bad dreams. So don't allow yourself to slip into the comfortable familiarity of disappointment and disillusionment. And, um, you know, don't allow yourself to do that. That's the thing. It's like you need to set a standard of excellence for yourself and hold yourself to it because you will at an opportunity you know you will lay on the couch and eat your bonbons and allow the story to narrate itself to you that you're a loser and you're never going to get anywhere you know and I, I have friends who get busy with paperwork they busy themselves on email all day long you know I have a client who um, talked to me the other day about 46 or 43 emails in his inbox you know let's not make it like it's life or death or treat it like it's the almighty Lord of email that we're worshiping don't use it as an excuse that's going to prevent you from where you're really wanting to be and that's really what a lot of obstacles turn into is comfortable excuses to stay exactly where you're at and make no progress. And I know a lot of you hearing this, it, you don't mean it. So I'm not saying you're doing it on purpose and you're an idiot, you know. You didn't mean to do it, but now that you know, like take responsibility and get yourself going again. It's so easy to be lost in, in uh, overwhelm land, isn't it? and to just feel another day slipping by without getting anything done, isn't it? I know this happens. So it's just like, again, wake yourself up. Say, this is the obstacle presenting itself. I'm not interested in making this a tiny god I'm going to worship. My nervous system is listening. The cells of my body are listening. And I am not going to make this the most important part of my journey. You know, my words and my thoughts matter. My actions matter. And I'm going to go in the direction I'm truly delighted to be going in. Listen, I know you are going to make it. I know you're going to be all right. You're going to be better than all right. I want you to feel, you know, wonderfully excited about your life. And, you know, my wish for you is that the next obstacle that presents itself to you, that you take it as an obstacle and not a stop, you know? Not a sign that you're not meant to be what it is that you long to be. That you just say, hey, kiddo, this is just an obstacle. This is only a dragon on the path asking me to learn something. Let me learn it, let me see it, let me grow myself from it, and let me continue on my way. I am blessed, I am loved, I'm a child of God, I'm a spark of the divine. Love rains down on me. I'm amazing. I'm the shizzle. I am fantastic. And I'm going to continue to be fantastic. Right? Or you can say, oh, I'm a piece of crap. <laughs> Which one do you want? Life is so hard. It's up to you. Nobody can twist your arm, you know? All right. So I know what you're going to do. You're going to rock it like you mean it. So this is Robin Hallett. I'm signing off. I'm sending you tons of love. 
If I can help you, leave me a comment or come over to my blog and we'll see what we can do. All right. Take care. Ciao, ciao. Bye.